Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the waterproof mode of the Sony FDRX3000. This is a action camera from Sony. Um, links to everything I talk about are in the description, but I'm not going to waste your time here. Okay, I filmed underwater with this a couple of times and I would like to show you now my footage that I took with this camera underwater. So that is going to be what you're seeing now. Uh, and like I said, this is a really good camera. The underwater footage is crisp, but it really depends on the water you're in. So yeah, it might look a bit cloudy, but that's just because, you know, it was the ocean. So the footage, of course, it's going to be cloudy. It's going to be some weird bits of dirt and things floating around. So you can enhance that. And I know there is a filter you can use. I'm sure I, uh, somebody in the comments can remember the name for this filter, but it's one that you put sort of over the lens, which uh, filters out the sea light and makes it easier to see things underwater. But I did not use that for any of this footage. So this is all raw footage that you're seeing. Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, it's a really good camera, okay? The stabilization is really good. I did actually buy a GoPro Hero 7 Black twice, okay? So I, I bought the first one. I thought it would be good. It didn't turn out to be good. So I actually returned it and then I bought another one. Same problem, the battery was just hard to take out. Uh, this one, however, is easy to take the battery out. You can easily snap the battery out, put a new one in. It doesn't take long at all. Uh, so that's why that's the camera I use, okay? Because I, I do film, you know, hours of content a day especially when I'm traveling. I'll, I'll film for three or four hours sometimes in a day. Uh, so I really need to be able to take the battery out easily. And it lets me do that. So that's why I like this one, you know, instead of anything else. So, and I have tested other ones as well, by the way. It's not just like I randomly have a bias for Sony cameras. That would be crazy, right? <laughs> anyway, the one thing I would say is that, yeah, if you're doing underwater shooting, you need to bear one thing in mind, and that is the tripod you use. If you're, and you don't have to use a, tri a tripod, by the way, but I like to hold something when I'm underwater, like a little tripod or something like that. And so what I'll do is I'll screw my tripod in, you know, to the um, waterproof case, which I'll show you now, and that's this one. I'll screw the tripod in, but if you're not careful, and if the tripod isn't made of, you know, the right materials, you can actually get rust appearing on the metal bits of your tripod. So, and you can easily avoid that by getting a waterproof tripod or wiping the water off as soon as you leave the water. The actual waterproof case itself, which is this one, it shouldn't really rust. You know, it's designed to be waterproof and as you can see, there's not much damage been done to it. Um, it's been underwater a bunch of times, especially in the ocean. Uh, you know, I, I used to, when I went to the, to the beach in Spain, when I was at the beach in, um, a bunch of other places, I would just carry this in my pocket when I when I went swimming in the ocean. So it, it's been just sitting, you know, sometimes for up to an hour underwater uh, and nothing about nothing has happened. It's remained waterproof. It's been fine. So here is how you actually put this thing in the case. Okay. Firstly, you need to take off, if you do have this thing, this is a, a lens protector, a Sony lens protector. You need to, you need to take that off first uh, because then it, otherwise it won't fit in the case. So then you just open this little clip here, very easily done, you just open the clip and then you slide the camera in just like that. And then it just clips on like that. And then it's waterproof. Now the case is a, it's, it's kind of bulky and it makes this thing look like an old fashioned video camera. You know, the ones your parents might have used in school assemblies to sort of record your school plays and things. But you know, when you're underwater, you shouldn't really care what it looks like because Firstly, everything's weightless, so it doesn't matter if it's big and bulky. And secondly, you, no one's gonna see you underwater. They're only gonna see that crisp underwater footage that you take with this thing. In a nutshell, waterproof mode on the Sony FDR X3000 is pretty good. Um, no complaints, really, you know. I've not been properly scuba diving with it, but I have snorkeled around. I've been messing around at the beach and stuff like that. So I filmed in the rain as well, and it works fine, you know. There's no no real problems with that. And another bonus, by the way, is that you, when you're traveling with this thing, you can actually use the waterproof case as sort of like a protective shell for the camera. You know, if you're worried about it getting damaged in your suitcase or in your carry-on bag, it's a good it's a good kind of shell, like a shield almost. Anyway, all the links are in the description. Um, like I said, this is not a tra uh, this is not a tech channel. This is a travel channel, so. I don't really get random cameras. These are the only two cameras I own. This one, and then the one I'm filming this video with, which is the RX, uh, the RX100 Mark VII. So links to all of these are in the description, and I'll see you next time.